Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's Theological Leftovers. I do not have a Theological Leftover for you today. I do have an invitation, um, which I guess I always have, and that is um, to come to Concordia. If you're in the Evansville area, we would love to have you. Our Bible class is at 9 o'clock, and our worship service, the Divine Service, is at 9.30. The Bible class is focusing on um, teaching you how to share Christ. And the worship service, the divine service, is called the divine service because Christ actually comes to our service to meet us, to give us the gifts of forgiveness, life, and salvation in his word and at the Lord's table. So you are welcome to uh, join us for those things. I um, don't need to do a video just to say that. Um, I did have one other thing that I wanted to say. This has been on my mind because we're doing this class on sharing Christ. Um, there's a whole bunch of these videos, I think a couple hundred of them now, that we've done over the last few years uh, that you have access to, um, that you can look through. And uh, I want to encourage you to use them. Um, I, I don't, haven't for a long time made a big deal about this, but um, our viewership could be better. And I'm, I'm talking to the members of the congregation here. I'm not trying to guilt you into this. If you look at these videos and you don't think that they're good enough quality to share, then don't share them. But if there's something in them that you find encouraging, um, if there's something in them that uh, a controversy that we deal with in one of the videos that you feel like is well dealt with, then um, then I would really strongly encourage you not just to watch it, but to comment on it, like it, and share it. Um, in doing that, you get the message out. And this has been on my mind because I also have a just a personal YouTube channel um, where I do like one, two-minute videos uh, of birds and things like that. And I only have a couple of subscribers. And, and yet most of the time there's, you know, between two to 500, 250, 500 views of those videos because somebody is sharing them and passing them on. And yet when I share the gospel... And I actually put a, a fair amount of work into preparation for these videos. Um, it's pretty clear that, that people are watching them but not passing them on um, because I don't get comments and because, um, because usually there's about 25 views um, and that's um, sometimes less. Um, again, if, if, if you don't think the videos have value, then, um, then don't pass it on. If, if there's one that you think I totally flub up, don't pass it on and let me know that so that I can revisit that and I can address your questions and that sort of thing. But, um, but if you think they have value, um, it's, it's a very simple, simple, simple way that you can get the word out to the people that you know will benefit from that particular topic. I try really hard to make sure there's always an invitation to Concordia um, to the more important things than a video, which is being where God gathers us together around Christ and his gifts, and then also the invitation to Bible class. Um, but then I also try to make sure that I always, including in this video here and now, make sure people hear the gospel, that Christ has come and he has died for their sins, and that you don't have to be afraid or hiding from God but instead you can repent of your sin because God is faithful and just and will forgive your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Not just once or twice, but, but that is his desire. So much so that Jesus, his only begotten son, was sent to die for those sins. The punishment's been paid, right? The gift of forgiveness, life, and salvation is yours. And, and try to make sure every single video um, that is shared so you got the gospel. You got an invitation to come to church. You got an invitation to a Bible class where it takes, you know, that goes much more in depth than any of these videos do. It seems to me like those three things are always worth sharing. Uh, so I um, I wanted to take a break from the actual theological leftovers um, to to hopefully encourage and maybe convict our congregation members to use this particular resource by commenting, liking, and sharing it with the people around them. Thank you for considering it at least. And if you think that there's a good reason why that shouldn't be done, please let me know. If I'm wrong on this, then, then you need to correct me, all right? But if I'm right, get the word out, all right? God bless you all. God bless your week. Have a great day.